Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan fikum. Today we're going to talk about the uses of the verbs tila and nizil in Egyptian Arabic. Part 1, nizil. Hanit kalam al yom an istikhdamat tila wa nizil fil amir al masriya. Wa tila means to go up, nizil means to go down generally, but they both take on so many more meanings metaphorically and end up with a wide variety of uses. So today we're going to focus on nizil and we're going to go step by step through different ways nizil can be used. So first up, nizil can mean to leave a place. Um, for example, humma nizlu milbeit. Homa nizlu milbeit. They left the house. Um, and notice that it's used with the preposition min here, which is reduced to mi before the definite article. So you don't usually say min ilbeit, you can, but a lot of people will shorten it to milbeit. And this is a really common, um, super common one of Nizil's uses. Um, it can also be to go to a place. So, for example, Hua Nizil Shogl. Hua Nizil Shogl. He went to work. You can also say Hua Nizil Lil Shogl. Um, but you don't need the preposition Li. Uh, you can just um, you can just drop it and see uh, use shogl as kind of a direct object of nizil in this case. Um, so next we have uh, for something to come out, for example, album gedid nizil, a new album came out or a new album dropped. Um, we also have arabia gedida nizlit isu. So a new car came out on the market. Um, and you can see here again no preposition between nizil and this um, isu, this location. Um, next we have to reside or stay with. So for example, ananzilt and akhuya. I stayed at my brother's place, and then zilt and achuya. We stayed at a hotel, nzilna fefundo, nzilna fefundo. And you can notice um, we used two different prepositions with nizil in these examples to show um, that we're using the sense of reside or stay with. Um, and, you know, which preposition to use in these different cases kind of generally goes with these different uses, usages, but um, in some cases it's really just kind of idiomatic and you have to have heard enough examples to be able to guess what the right one is. Um, this one is a really interesting usage. It's to do something intensely, and you use nizil and then you use a masdar. So some examples I found, nizlit fiya bus. So nizlit, uh, like she went down fiya. Um, that's in me. That's fi plus the um, the first person singular pronoun becomes fiya, bus, bus. That's the mustard of the verb to kiss. Um, also, nizlu aleya darb. Nizlu alaya darb. They beat me badly. Um, so it's, you know, nizlu in the third person plural past tense. Alaya, that's the preposition ala with the first person singular. So ala becomes alaya. Darb being the master of darab, um, to hit or to beat. Um, and this is. Uh, pretty common example of um, how this specific structure is used um, uh, 
with beating people up or getting hit, uh, you'll find that descriptions of beatings are really commonly uh, used with this verb. Um, sometimes they won't even, they'll leave out the mustard, just say, um, like, Nizlu alayya, um, or I saw another example, Nizlu alayya bil asaya, um, like, they beat me with, they beat me with a stick, um, even though they don't explicitly say darb. Um, so, yeah, you'll notice kind of the, the mustad is technically the direct object, um, and, and, but what corresponds to the direct object in English, me, uh, comes in this preposition, and it can be either fi or ala. Um, next we have to comply or submit to advice or wishes. Um, this um, always comes with the preposition ala. Um, so for example, ananzilt ala hukma buya. Ananzilt ala hukma buya. I complied with my father's order or um, I went with my, my, father's, my father's wishes, his ruling. Um, and then another slightly more complicated example, because we use the mustard of this um, kind of interesting mustard of Nizil. Ana harashah nafsi nuzulun ala ragbitkum. Harashah nafsi nuzulun ala ragbitkum. So, harashah, I'll nominate nafsi, myself, nuzulun ala, in compliance with. Um, or it's really, um, like, going down on, upon, um, that's your desire or your wishes. So, harashah nafsi nuzulun ala Um Next we have to get down from, get off, or get out of a vehicle. Um, this is also super common. So, eyes anzil mit taxi. Eyes anzil mit taxi. I want to get out of the taxi. Eyes anzil. I want to get out. Mit taxi from the taxi. And then we have yasta nazil nihena. Yasta is um, a form of address that originally comes from. Um, Ottoman times, it's a form of Turkish nobility, is an usta, um, yasta, with the, the ya particle before it, so the vocative particle. And it's become uh, what's considered the polite way to address a taxi driver. Um, it can be fairly complicated to, um, to know when to use which laqab, which form of address uh, for different people in different parts of society in Egypt, but uh, Yastla is the one for taxi drivers, although I learned through personal experience not to use this with Uber drivers. They might get offended. They prefer the term captain, so you can address an Uber driver, yeah, captain. So, Yastla nazilni hena, nazilni. Um, this is the form two of the verb nazil, so it's nazil, nazil. Um, it's, so it's causative, so it's caused me to go down, um, or let me out, nazilni, let me out, hina, here. Um, and then, oops, went too far. And then we kind of have, um, you know, uh, more literally to descend, fall, or reduce. Um, this one, you can kind of see some of these examples are very idiomatic and idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic however you say that. Um, so you can see Nizil Aleha Dam. Nizil Aleha Dam. She started bleeding. You can see the subject here is Dam. The Dam is, uh, you know, kind of falling on her. That's kind of the idea. Um, you can also use this um, to talk about sweat. Nizil Aleha Dam means uh, I started sweating. 
Um, and then we have Al Asar Nizlit. Prices went down. Al Asar Nizlit. Or you can say Al Asar Fin Nazil. Fin Nazil. That um, this phrase means on the decline. So prices went down or prices are on the decline. Um, and then Tafet al Nur. When Zilt Taht al Ghata. Tafet al Nur. I turned out the light. When Zilt Taht al Ghata. And I got under the cover. Um, sorry, the um, the color coding is a little off here. Under is Taht al Ghata, the cover. And you, you know by now. When Zilt and I went down. Um, or I got under. When zilt taht el And that's kind of um, the last one I'm going to be showing you. There are so many more examples I could show you. Um, but uh, first, let's quickly review what we've done so far. So, to leave a place, um, usually with the preposition min, homa nizlu milbet, they left the house. Uh, to come out, album Gidid Nizil, a new album dropped. Arabia Gidid Nizlit Desu, a new car came out on the market. To go to a place, Hua Nizl Shogl, he went to work. To do something intensely, Nizlit Fi Yabus, she kissed me a lot. Nizlu Aleya Darb, they beat me badly. To reside or stay with, Nizlit Ainda Khuya. Oh, Nizilt Ainda Khuya, sorry. I stayed at my brother's place. If it were Nizlit, it would be she stayed at my brother's place. Nizilna Fundo. Nizilna Fundo. We stayed at a hotel. Eyes Anzil mit Taxi. I want to get out of the taxi. That's for to get down from, get off of, or get out of a vehicle. That can also, you can also use this for um, getting off of a horse or a camel. Yasta uh, Nazil Nihina. Sir, let me out here. Yasta nazil nihina, to comply or submit to advices, to advice or wishes. Nazil ta'ala hukma buya. Nazil ta'ala hukma buya. I complied with my father's order. Harashah nafsi nuzulan ala ragbitkum. I'll nominate myself in compliance with your wishes. Harashah nafsi nuzulan ala ragbitkum. To descend, fall, or reduce. Nizl alayha dam. She started bleeding. El asad nizlit. Oh, el asad fin nazil. Prices went down. Prices are on the decline. Tafet al nur. When zil taht al ghata. Sorry, I was going to say al bataniya. Al bataniya is the blanket, um, which is what I'd like to do. Um, and a uh, shameless plug. Um, you should check out my app, Egypto Contexto, to look up words and see tons of examples from movies and TV shows from Egypt. Um, here's a little demo of what you can do with the app. So you open it up. You can search in English or Arabic, and you can see um, various definitions of the word show up. You can scroll through those at the top, and then below you can see Tons of example sentences taken from um, movies and TV shows. Um, and so you can go through those and kind of see the different uses that we just learned. Um, can scroll through. You can add them to a list of favorites. Favorites you can do with definitions or with example sentences. Um, so you can reference them easily later. Um, or you can add them to... You can also quiz yourself on anything you add to your favorites list. Um, so thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss part two. The verb Thele. Ma